In this problem, we've been given two intersecting lines that have formed four different angles. We've been given one of them and we need to find the other three. There's a couple different ways to find the missing angles. One way is to use what you know about vertical angles. Vertical angles are the angles that are across from each other. They share the same vertex and they're formed by the same two lines. Um, but they're right across from each other. So 54 and Y, those are vertical, and X and Z, those are vertical angles. And one important thing that we know about vertical angles is that vertical angles are always congruent. So here's a diagram to help you visualize that. The two that are across from each other, those are vertical. So these two purple angles are vertical. Those angles are going to be congruent to each other. They'll have the same angle measure. And then these two blue ones are also a set of vertical angles, and these will also be the same. 54 and the Y are vertical angles. They're across from each other. So that means that Y is also 54 degrees. Now to find the other two, we know that X and Z are going to have the same angle measure, um, but we don't know yet what that angle measure is. To find it, we can look at this 54 and the X. These are right next to each other, and this is called a linear pair, because when you put them right next to each other, they form this straight line right here. We know that a straight line is 180 degrees. So from this bottom of the 54 degree angle all the way over to here, this angle is 180 degrees. This part of it is 54. So to find this missing part right here, we can just do 180 minus 54 and that will tell us this missing part right here. So we know that the angle that's marked with the X is 126 degrees. And then X and Z are vertical angles, so that means that Z is also 126 degrees. So anytime you have two intersecting lines, you're gonna end up with two sets of congruent angles. 